Right now at 6, the latest on a developing story. The search for a missing newborn from southwest Miami-Dade has moved to Pasco County. Just a short time ago, that child's father, also the subject of the Amber Alert, was found dead inside that van. That Amber Alert prompted after three women, the child's mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother were found dead inside their home. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live outside of that home now with the latest on the investigation. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay and Elliot Ernesto Caballero's body was found inside his white van north of Tampa. Now, we can also tell you that a source says that he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Deputies were called to a home there near I-75 where they made that discovery. Meanwhile, Ernesto Caballero's home here in southwest Miami-Dade is still sealed off more than 24 hours after the family tragedy. A law enforcement source tells CBS4 that the body of Ernesto Caballero was discovered here in his white van in Blanton near I-75 in Pasco County, about 40 miles north of Tampa. One day after the tragedy inside Caballero's southwest Miami-Dade home that claimed the lives of three members of his own family, including the mother of his newborn son, seen here in this photo. You could only imagine. I'm in shock. Miguel Gonzalez says he knew all three victims who were shot and killed inside the Southwest Miami-Dade home and says they were the mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother of one-week-old Andrew Caballero. A senior law enforcement source confirms that is true. Police have been looking for the child and his 49-year-old father, Ernesto Caballero. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement had posted this child abduction alert on electronic message boards on Florida highways. Thousands of people have seen it. Caballero and his son, we're in a white Ford passenger van like this one with a Florida tag, KUSK 23. Cops so far are not calling him a suspect in the murders or a person of interest, but they had expressed concerns for the well-being of Caballero and his son. We're asking the uh, assistance of the community to locate him and his newborn infant child. They were last seen at the home at Southwest 187th Avenue and 219th Street in the Redland community. Records show Caballero started Nesty School Services in 2018. Chopper 4 shows five yellow school buses in his backyard. Records show Caballero had been arrested several times before on charges including petty and grand theft, operating a chop shop and aggravated assault. Now let's go live to a very active scene, seen here from Chopper 4 in Pascal County. This is Blanton, just by a home in a rural area by Interstate 75. This is where the body of Ernesto Caballero was discovered inside his white van. Again, sources tell CBS 4 News that he died from a self-inflicted wound. Deputies called to the scene where they made this discovery. Now, right now, we can tell you this precedes a news conference that is coming up in just 15 minutes, in which we should be hearing from Pascal County authorities. Authorities. Amid this, some lingering questions. The child is still missing. Where is he? It's not known at this point. Also, that senior law enforcement source tells CBS4 it is simply not known at this point what prompted the shooting right here at Caballero's home. We are live in southwest Miami-Dade. Peter Dench, CBS4 News.